Welcome back to Echo. We have a little gauntlet to get through. Four of me looking at myself. Oh. Oh, on the sides too. Well, there's no way I can avoid getting spotted here. Hmm. By the way, I noticed something pretty cool. So look at the gun on N's back. Let's wait for that to come back for a sec. Oh yeah, look at the gun on the back. At first I thought, wow, that's just kind of a weird looking animation, but then I realized, given the sounds that we're hearing, and the way it looks, I think it's actually magnetically held on there. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I feel like there's like a magnet holding it on, or some sort of attraction sort of thing. A mini tractor beam, if not a magnet. Uh... Should I just run forwards and then maybe do the riot thing with the gun? These are not crossing the water. So much for your theory. No, that makes perfect sense. They stop doing what I stop doing. Oh, so because I didn't cross water for a while, they unlearned it, basically. Interesting. So now that I'm going to walk through water, they will be able to next time they restart. Uh oh. I want to make sure I'm not missing. Important doesn't seem like it, at least not within range. So, I wonder if I don't open doors for a while, if they would also lose that ability. It's not like I can really help that, though, I have to open doors. What was that sound? Ah, just need one more. I'm curious to learn more about that theory of yours. The one where everything makes perfect sense. Don't you see it? They unlearn as well. It's all tied to the blackout cycles. When the lights are on, the palace keeps track of my actions, registering what I do with those icy ghosts. After some time, it will reboot to update the copies. That's what's causing the blackouts. I get no ghosts when the lights are out. So my guess is that the palace is blind while it's rebooting. When the lights come back on, their abilities match my actions from the previous light cycle. But that would explain why they wouldn't cross the water up there. I didn't touch any water in the light cycle before I reached them. They echo your behavior. Yes, echoes. That's exactly what they are. Oh and my airlock. god. So bright. They're coming. Hurry, get out. Uh oh Wait, wait. What? Huh? They've all stopped. What are they doing? Never mind that. Just get out. Are they praying, or is that some sort this of like shut down. yeah, a shutdown position? Airy. I'm 
outside again. The sphere just turned off. That means the echoes are not coming, right? You sound like naming them explains everything. To me, the logic of it all only makes the whole thing more absurd. Someone intentionally designed it to be this way. I expected there'd be some obstacles to getting Foster back. You were prepared for this? In your training, I mean. Gods, no. Gramps did talk of great challenges and equally great rewards, but well, I doubt he knew this is what it meant. You admit he was wrong? Yes and no. I think he managed to find the words, but not their meaning. Yeah, so as we were descending originally, coming down before we went into the palace, it was getting darker and darker. And now it is completely pitch black. And we've gone down so far in the palace, we must be very deep. So, any words in your teachings about who built this place? That's the thing. None of us ever knew this place existed. He always gestured at a walled enclosure in the uppermost garden when he talked about the palace. I think we all imagined splendid halls filled with the chosen ones who mastered a self-control so deep it could overcome even death. So, he lied to you? He just didn't get into the specifics. If we passed the trials all the way to the upper terrace, we would be granted access to the passage. The ones who entered never returned to tell. The translation? I know that now. Back then, we all thought the passage meant the final test. The big one this time. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole. We'd seen resourcefuls break during training. Minds or bodies hurt beyond repair. I can see why you would all strive for that. That wasn't the selling point. The challenge and reward stuff was. Being a resourceful is constant competition, always performing to the best of your ability. But for one to win, others must lose. And losing often meant a life ending. Competition breeds envy. It must have been dangerous for you if you really were as good as you say. Excellence was valued by everyone. The more formidable your competition, the more fruitful the exercise. In the end, everybody won. That's quite the social construct, considering the consequences of losing. That was Gramps' way. He didn't preach. It was pure reasoning. The program made sure all resourcefuls were logically disposed to follow his line of argument to its conclusion. How can you deny perfection? How could you? Spontaneity, chaos, life. That's how you prove yourself. Why spend eternity to make the best possible you? Potential without release. I feel like maybe Grandpa was preparing us for something even they didn't understand. This really does feel... alien. Back inside, I guess. N, be careful. You're not beginning to like me, are you? So the 
fact that those echoes back there were apparently programmed? I mean, are they robots? No, they looked very biological when they were being made, right? Given that they started out as lumps on the ground, I mean, that didn't... That wasn't robotic at all. So I don't know if programmed is the right word. But, um... They were made, in some way, to shut down when they come near one of these airlocks. So they're specifically made not to be able to escape each... Each unit, or whatever you call the place... What's that? Is that a portal or something? What's that strange archway? It's a suspended Y field. Never seen a vertical one before. It looks like you're supposed to pass through. What does it do? Shouldn't do anything. It's self contained. Save arches. Stepping through a powerful wayfield arch will create a Maxwell freeze, a stored map of data from that exact moment. The arches will save your progress. Huh. Up until now, it's just been auto saving. I'm assuming it's still going to do that, but then there's also these if you want. I like that noise. A soft exhale. Ah, oh, this should give us more energy. Another bar. There we go. Nice. That's going to really help. It doesn't matter if they see me, right? What can they do? Yeah, they're powerless. There's a tuning fork on the other side there, though. Well, that works. But I could also descend. Let's see where this goes. Ah, just down the floor. That should allow me to get up on the other side and get that tuning fork. Ooh.
I did not expect them to have a gun now. So... Will they not have a gun if I don't use a gun? Hmm. Interesting thought. Alright, let me get back there. Okay, let's try this again. So it's that one that saw me. Let's go save real quick. Okay, so each of those only gives me one bar of energy. So it doesn't fill me up all the way. Oh, it just took an elevator. So does it have a gun? It might not have a gun anymore because I didn't shoot anybody on the way down here. Well, that was awkward. Now they'll probably have guns in a minute. Oh yeah, they had a gun. Yep. So the gun is obviously very helpful to me, but it's helpful for them too. Gotta keep that in mind. Uh oh. For example, they have a gun. Hey, that's interesting. That one looks sort of incomplete, doesn't it? Some of the others don't. Oh god, they just called it back. No, 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 no. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Whew. All the elevators up here. Whoa. What the hell? Did someone just shoot? learn to shoot, so sometimes they just shoot randomly, I guess. It's so interesting, the way they behave. Right? Like, they understand that shooting is a thing that needs to be done, but they don't quite understand why. So they just kind of 
Shoot. So now they hopefully won't have any weapons since I didn't shoot since the last restart. Do they only learn the things that I've done since the last restart? Just one restart? saw me, but I don't think they have any way to get to me. Whoa. The hell is that? It looks like the same stuff that made my echoes, that blackish material, but just huge clumps of it. I'm gonna go there in a second. Just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like the staircase just goes down forever. This is new. Manifest corruption. So things definitely are not working as they should. Again, the basics of this place definitely seem like they were designed around me fighting against enemies of some sort that keep respawning, keep coming back and keep learning, but at least parts of it are wrong. Whoa. It triggered an instant blackout. Probably to correct the anomaly. It didn't fix it. It just moved. What if I touch it again? Where is it now? Crystal orbs. Pick up or put down by pressing E. Bludgeoning, distraction, quick throw. So when holding a crystal ball, pressing F will not push an enemy, but bludgeon it instead. The strike is lethal. Ooh. Distraction. Right mouse button to throw it. Um, enemies will investigate the sound of the crystal ball shattering. Okay. So if it shatters by throwing it, I'm assuming bludgeoning an enemy will probably be a one-time use as well. Quick throw, holding a crystal ball and quick throw indicator. A quick throw indicator appears when an enemy is at medium range. Can throw the orb at this enemy. It functions like a remote push. Oh, I see. 
Hmm. So I assume that means yeah, so I can't use my my gun at this point. I'd have to toss this thing away first. Two waypoints? Intriguing, I feel like there's so much possibility now. There's two elevators. Where do they go? This game does seem to be, like, at least slightly open world. There's definitely some optional stuff. I don't think open world's really the right term. But there's definitely some optional stuff to get, so I want to make sure I don't leave areas unexplored. Yes, record me. I'm not going to stop eating these grapes until I see one of my echoes eating grapes. And then I'm going to be a very, very happy mother. I want to see my babies eat grapes. Hey, wait a minute. My orb. The heck? Oh, I think I dropped it just by pressing E. Okay. So you can just pick it up again if you do that. Who's on me? I think it's them. Okay, let's try to use it. Cool. Very helpful. But yeah, indeed, it's one time use. Eat more grapes. Learn. Learn from me. Learn from me. See some grape eating. I assume they can see me through the railing since, you know, it is see through. Yep, they can. Ah! Oh, now they have an orb. Oh, no. They didn't use it, though. Oh, well, they all heard that. Shit. Oh, I just saw... I just saw one of my children eating grapes. I just saw one of them. Right right up here. This one right here. I just saw it eat a, eat a grape. It just ate a grape. I need to look closer. It's going dark too fast. They're gonna unlearn the grapes. <laughs> well, there goes my grape babies. Shit. Ok, 
Okay, I'm getting out of here. <gasps> oh, they jumped down. That one was a short enough shaft that they could just jump down. Probably can't go in water. I mean, they now now they can, but at the moment they can't. They will be able to on the next reset. So one of the waypoints is up here. the orb I was holding. I'm going quite a while without a save game. Unless it's been auto saving. I mean, I just did like half of it. I now I need to go to the entire other side. I need to go up, don't I? Sometimes, like this one right here, sometimes they look sort of not entirely formed, right? They look rough. Most of the time, though, they don't. Most of the time, they look like perfect copies of me. see a save game thing around here. I mean, I guess I could go back where I came from, but... Huh. 
Ooh. I don't know if I've seen that before. Luxurious couch. So, based on the rules of symmetry, I assume if there's one of those on this side, there's probably one on the other side as well. Wait a second. The mark is on a person. Are they carrying it? Had to wait a little bit to get my stamina back. Hmm, this room is not perfectly symmetrical. Yeah, there isn't one on this side. It's a whole upstairs, though. Go check it out in a minute once I get the, the thing from that person over there. I think the one down there just spotted me. <gasps> yeah, they've got it on them. I see it. On their left side. There we go. See that skull up there on this? It's like a tomb. It's a bit odd. So I wonder if they just spawned? You know, they started out with it on them? Or because I've been taking it, maybe one of them just took it from here. That's probably what happened. That's so cool. Thank God none of them have pushed me. fork, I think. Oh, over there, too. Time. Looks like we've got almost all of them. Don't 
Don't have the power to go down yet. They can't get me. More corruption. See, it looks like it's covering a doorway, so I'm guessing if I touch it, I can uncover it. Ah. Secrets. I just realized it's making a copy of me hitting these things. So I guess they can hit them too. I don't know if that would accomplish anything. of them this time. Oh, so the 21 and the 34 on the left and right side, or right and left side respectively. Remember before I didn't actually need them all. Maybe that's what that means. Maybe that means there's 34 of them in total, but I need 21 of them. If so, this should... Yeah, so that's why it goes down on each one, right? So it should go to 33 and then 20? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm so close to having them all, I think. I would really like to save the game. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming the game's been saving. I mean, it must have. So, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.